first race was Ian Bell, who started at 32 and finished seventh, a performance that moved the organisers to move him up the starting ladder to an unlucky for some 13 plus, but he's not bothered. Moving up from the 30s to 13 on the starting order seems to have hindered Ian Bell rather than helped him. He's sixth now, where he was fifth on Saturday, but that could simply be a reflection of the extra presence of Dave Molyneux on today's start list. Heading downhill towards the quarter bridge roundabout, Ian Bell demonstrates how tricky the roads are. Slipping the clutch and piling on speed in one of these three wheelers is hard enough in good conditions, never mind when the road is treacherous. Kenny Howells catches Ian Bell at the ballot frame right hander. Ian Bell at the start, number seven. Half this field is related to someone else on the start line, the Bell family being another case in point. Ian Bell ahead of Richard Crossley. Meanwhile, Jeff Bell is 17 miles into his lap and he's got brother Ian breathing down his neck. As the Bell family crowd through Parliament Square, round the hairpin, Ian Bell about to be confirmed in second place when he reaches the start finish line. Bell going across the line. He was running with brother Jeff, but he's pulled ahead of him now. Ian Bell in the number seven outfit. He's one of the quick runners, now confirmed in second place, just a little closer now than he was at Braddon. Bell still second at Glen Helen, ahead of Greg Lambert. Howells comes into Ramsey Troll by Bell, who has definitely been closing on Fisher since Glen Helen 12 miles back. So with half a TT still to go, the positions at Ramsey have all changed. Bell leads Lambert by a tiny margin, and he's in front of Vince and Graham Biggs by an equally tiny amount. Very quick coming through the bungalow. Gets it all just per... Oh, he's lost it. Ian Bell sideways. And that was a wild ride for Carpenter. And it's all gone wrong at the bungalow. The tram lines have claimed another victim. As Kenny Howell shoots past him, Ian Bell and Neil Carpenter retire. And that changes all the positions in the top six again. With Bell and Carpenter parked near Windy Corner, their TT all over as well. Ian Bell broke at Windy Corner while he was leading. The unofficial timekeepers around the course put Bell in second place. Going over the mountain behind them, Ian Bell, second, but by a growing margin. Who is trying very hard, giving Neil Carpenter a wild ride round the TT course as he chases after victory. Bad news for Ian Bell, no cigar again today. Still going, but third at Glen Helen, unofficially of course, and no real sign of improvement at Ramsey. Tom Hanks, second by more than a minute. Bell and the somewhat shaken Neil Carpenter in third place. The pair of them giving this second race everything they had to give. 